welcome to 1407 Gray Malkin Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay. Whew. Exterminators number three. So, all right. Have you seen the last two reviews? I really like this book. It's fun. Like, the back and forths are, they're, they're cute. You know, like the art is kind of like, gives you kind of like a, a magnet anime style but you know it's fine it's fine like I, I love everything about it getting into it so dazzler boom boom jubilee and wolverine laura kenny okay you know what wolverine dazzler boom boom jubilee and wolverine are being held in a like a in like a hall in like a room of mirrors that responds to sound no no sight and vampires it's <sighs> I, I mean it's fun like and also we get <laughs> we get some really funny interactions like jubilee and boom boom starts talking about dazzlers like her ass is so fat duh, duh, like it's so wow it, it, it <laughs> and the ending really kind of puts you like wow they're really just switching genres they went from like uh vampires to like into the dragon now they're in space so like, i bet you this is going to be an alien homage i'm telling you okay all in all I'm giving this book a 2.5. Okay, hear me out. It's a little too cute for me. And like, it really kind of, it feels like none of this really matter, doesn't matter because we know that they're talking about it. I like, I really want to like this book. It's just, it, Okay, it's like it. Okay, for me, it's like when uh, when I was a kid and uh, Saturday morning cartoons, and you get to X Men, and then it's like an episode that like you didn't really want, like an episode where like I don't know, like the Omega Red episode of season two, like okay, this is fun, I guess. I don't know. That's just me. So, but this is 1407 Grandma Kin Lane signing out.